Good morning. It's been rough this morning to get ourselves together. Um, I have kids to take care of, a husband to send off. We get to say goodbye, and it's hard to get everything together. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a life coach. I am a mom. Today is December 20th. Okay, courage to change. Now, like I said, this is um, helping families of alcoholics, but you can, you know, you can still use the same belief system on how addictions work. I, I do believe that uh, Jehovah's Witnesses have a sort of addiction and or they're used to they're used to being treated not well as individuals, and they do have these problems in their families. So hopefully you can benefit from this today. Here we go. Each Al-Anon family group has but one purpose, to help families of alcoholics. This is part of our fifth tradi tradition, but how do we go about doing it? By practicing the 12 steps, we must learn to love ourselves before we can truly love others. When we tend to our own spiritual needs, we make it possible for others to see that special something in us that they may want for themselves. The best sermon is a good example. The next part of this tradition talks of encouraging and understanding our alcoholic relatives. We can all be more loving, knowing that alcoholism is a disease can help us to respond with compassion rather than hostility. Finally, by welcoming and giving comfort to families of alcoholics, we acknowledge that love centered only on ourselves and our small family circle, family circle leaves us isolated. Let me read that again. Finally, by welcoming and giving comfort to families of alcoholics, we acknowledge that love centered only on ourselves and our small family circle leaves us isolated. We are rich in opportunities to love because we are part of the Al-Anon family. Today's reminder. Today, I will practice compassion. First, I will be kind and loving to myself. But I will not stop there. I will extend this compassion to others. I am one among my fellows. When I offer unconditional love, it eventually comes back to me multiplied. Hmm. The quote is from the Bible. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. Okay, um, affirmations for an inner child. My book is falling apart. Okay, December 20th. Imagination, it's under imagination. Today, I will use my childlike imagination to transform adversity. A pile of rocks sits in an otherwise vacant lot. No one gives them a second thought. They are at the least a nuisance to walkers taking shortcuts and at the most a problem for the owner when it comes time to clear the land and build. Yet to the children who gather to play in the lot, the rocks are an immediate asset. Moved just so they can be the walls of a fort or moved over here and stuck like this, they become the walls of a corral for the imaginary horses. Large flat ones become bases for a ball game. Tiny ones are food for the doll taken on a stroll. Pretty ones are pocketed for future admiration. 
Today, I will take the rocks in my life and build something from them. I will use my childlike imagination to use those rocks to enhance my life, not hinder it. I like that. Well, if you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses, or were one of Jehovah's Witnesses like me, you have some rocks to move around. <laughs> All right, follow your bliss and be good humans.